In this video, we're going to look at the advanced features of screencasting. Some of the more advanced features that you'll notice within this video that we're going to play is the use of uh, a coloured highlighter for the cursor, also the ability to zoom in and highlight important text. What we're going to do is go through uh, a short video where you can see these things happening, and then following on from there, I'll show you how you do these things. So as you can see, I've managed to zoom in and highlight the cursor. This can also be changed into either a Spotify, which means that uh, it'll be a light area and the rest of the area on the page will be dark, or it'll be a highlight. If you're using Camtasia, uh, the interface should look like this. Uh, it will have a display, um, like a toolbar, which highlights all of the add-ins that you can do. So it has the call-outs, the zoom-in, the ability to add the audio retrospectively. If you're not confident of talking over your screencast first time, you can add in the cursor effects. And then on the top right hand side there was also a little video, uh, a little area which shows you how your screencast currently looks. So here are all the options that you have, so audio, transitions, cursor effects, title clips, and uh, picture in picture. Uh, picture in picture is the ability to have a webcam uh, and your uh, the, what the webcam shows uh, will be placed in either the bottom right hand corner, top left hand corner, or wherever you wish on your video. Just allows for interaction with the students and the students to know who they're actually listening to. One of the options, as I said, is cursor effects. If you click on it, uh, it gives you a drop down list of three options. They are highlight, <coughs> magnify, and spotlight. At the minute, I have the highlight on, a yellow highlight around my cursor. As you'll see when we pan out, um, the video on the right hand side will now have a yellow cursor highlighted. It just allows for uh, increased accessibility and the students, students will be able to follow where you are clicking and what you're doing a little bit easier than if you weren't using one of these tools. All of these tools can be added in retrospectively. You don't need to be, having the, uh, to be thinking about them whilst you're creating the screencast. They can all be added in afterwards. So as I say, on the right hand side you can see that the cursor is now yellow on the video that I have created. An additional option uh, is in, can be found in the More tab where you can add in either captions or quizzing. This would be a particularly useful tool uh, from a teaching and learning perspective as it allows for you to highlight important areas or ask questions, key questions, just to make sure the students are understanding uh, that which you intend them to learn from the screencast. So, as you can see, you click on the caption option and then it will bring up the option to add in a caption. You can add in as many as you want, you don't have to add in one, uh, you can add in ten, however many you feel are appropriate for your video. As you'll see as I'm typing away, it is also appearing on the right hand side of the screen, because uh, this is an example of where the caption will fit on my video. On the top line at the bottom, it's up to me to choose where I wish to put it, I can drag that and move it wherever I wish if I feel it needs to come in later, or stay for longer, any of those uh, options can be edited at the bottom. As you can see, it just appears at the bottom of my video as it is. An additional option uh, with the Camtasia software that you don't always get with the free to use ones is the ability to not only record your screen but also record any PowerPoint presentations you have. To do this we just go up to the top, click on the drop down list by record screen and it will give us the option of record PowerPoint. When we click on this it will ask us which PowerPoint we wish to open. <coughs> when we open it up you can run through the presentation, talking over the top of it. It could be an important aspect for any students that are doing blended or distance learning, and also any students that have missed a lesson or wish to recap a particular topic, and this can be housed on a Moodle for them to access at a later date. One of the biggest benefits of using this software is that when you come to produce a video at the end, which means to share it and allow everyone to access it, we have many more options. Some of the free to use software is limited to just one option. Whereas if you look at the drop down list here, you'll see there are several possibilities for us. Therefore it will make it more accessible for all individuals and hopefully every learner in our group will be able to access it. There are several benefits of using this uh, software compared to, compared to other software. It really is a case of just having a go and seeing what you can do with it.